Welcome to my live stream and we're a little bit later, but depending on if you catch this on a replay, you'll never know the difference. My name is Zakia Ringgold and tonight or today or this afternoon, depending on when you are catching this broadcast, we are going to be making bath bombs and the embeds that go inside of them. So if you want to see how we do that, make sure you stick around. Okay, everybody, so I have to do a sound check. Hello, Miss Francis, how are you? So this was the broadcast that almost did not happen. Um, Paige and I went to the store. She actually ended up getting up. Oh, somebody's tweeting, Miss Francis. <laughs> Thank you for retweeting it out, Miss Francis. Um, Paige and I went to the store. When I tell you she went up and down the aisles, up and down the aisles, time and time again, trying to figure out what it is that she wanted. She could not make up her ever-loving mind, that's for sure. Um, but she did finally pick out what she wanted. Then we stopped at Mickey D's to get some snacks. Oh, I probably should turn my sound off. Um, I'm great, Zalyn. How are you? So we are broadcasting the making of some bath bombs. Um, I have not been able to do embeds because I had not had any polysorbate 80. And I now have polysorbate 80, so I will be making the embeds. She ended up getting a car and a doll. It was like a little Barbie car. It's a two-seater convertible. She's very excited about it. Extremely excited about it. But for any of you that are brand new to me, like you're wondering, who is this girl? What is she doing? What is she talking about? My name is Zakia Ringgold. I make my own handcrafted natural soap. And if I get my glove on... I typically do it live. And for this broadcast, we are actually making bath bombs as well as the embeds to go inside. Much love, much respect right back to you. And what I do is I do try and bring you all into the broadcast with me. Um, and so once I get my hands into the thingamajigger, I'm not going to be able to do that. I do need to do a check stream really quickly to make sure that this has come up everywhere it was supposed to come up. Do, 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 yes. Mic check one there. Mic check one there. What's happening here? We don't know. Looks like it's working. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got to share it. Let's go ahead and share. Wherever you are, make sure if you have the option to share and you have a friend that you think might find this broadcast interesting definitely definitely do share the broadcast out i don't want it to go to a page let's move that over i want it to go to my personal page looks great on perry how can i tell real she's butter mine is yellow with a white ring around the edge tony what are you talking about what exactly are you talking about because i have no clue what that means on the broadcast I'm going to put it up here because it's kind of interesting. How can I tell real shades butter? Mine is yellow with a right... Oh, oh, shea butter. Shea butter comes in both the white and the yellow. Um, um, you can probably tell by the texture or the consistency. People don't really um, make shea butter false. But what they will do is you may have one that's been refined over and over and over again. So what will end up happening is you'll have a whole lot of graininess to the shea butter. Um, that's the best way that I can describe it. I'm sure there are people that are experts in butters that can probably give you a better description of what I just said. Um, but typically, that's how I go about it. So I have all of my dry ingredients already measured out. This one I'm actually using bentonite clay. For the embeds, I'm going to be using a kaolin clay. Um, and then I also have all of our liquid ingredients measured out as well as our scent. I'm going to add the scent last. These bath bombs are going to be yellow. But then the embeds that we go to make will turn out to be um, orange, blue, and red. So that I'm able to put those into other bath bombs. I won't be able to use the bath bombs. Um, 
in this particular mixture tonight, but I will be able to use them um, for the next batch of bath bombs that I do. Um, the only thing about using bentonite clay in the bath bombs is you don't get that really, really white bath bomb. And now I'm about to have a whole bunch of powder coming up on my face. Looks great on Perry. Okay, cool. So I did check. It does look like we are coming. We're shooting on all cylinders, which is great. Um, and if you guys have any questions at all while we are going through the motions, also known as live streaming, you know that you can definitely ask me and I will try to answer. If you are, well, depending on where you are, I may be able to see them. I may not be able to see them. We did do a test prior to doing this broadcast to make sure. I forgot my face mask. Because... I don't know where they are. I swear, I organized everything, but then you know how you're used to being in a mess, in a messy, messy situation? Well, um, now that I'm in that messy, messy, or non-messy situation, I can't remember where the organized situation is. So I'm going to come here, because this is the only one I have not been able to check. Boom, boom, there we go. Okay, yeah, okay, we're good. So we'll get this on. And that's only because these powders are so fine. I don't necessarily want... Did your comments break? I think your comments have broke. Hey, Michelle, welcome to the broadcast. Hopefully your comments... Hey, Drea, how are you? Thank you for tuning in. I am much later than our promised 9.30 start. But, you know... Nobody will know tomorrow if they watch it on a replay, so it's our secret. Nobody nobody else has to know. Um, let's see. Let's pull this one up. I've tried several recipes out of your vegan book. Excited about them. Loving your books. Thank you, Miss Frances. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, and I will put a link wherever you guys are watching. I do have three books for soap makers. If, especially if you're a beginning soap maker. If you already know how to make soap, probably my very first book is the one that you may find interesting, which is my Ingredients for Success book. You can get any of my books by going to bit.ly slash soap books. That is where all of my books are available. It'll take you to my Amazon author page and all of that. Andrew, are you laughing at me? All right, so... Those have been pretty well mixed together. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in our liquid ingredients here. Now this is a combination of witch hazel, a little bit of olive oil. Um, what else do we have? A little bit of rubbing alcohol, not too much. And the point of that is to help these ingredients to bind together. Um, I don't have my fragrance in here, but I will add that in just a second. And I slowly add it as to not activate my mixture. Although the mixture should not activate because I have, I have all three books open all the time. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. I'm so glad they are helpful. And then we also have our polysorbate 80 in here, which is going to allow me to add some beautiful, beautiful color into these bath bombs and if you guys don't know what bath bombs are you must be living under a rock you must be you must be living under a rock um but bath bombs basically they give you that really fun experience in the tub where it foams up and then it bubbles and all that other stuff so that's what we are making right now and these i believe we're going to make yellow the scent that I'm using is called Avocado Mint. That one comes from the amazing Molly Soap Supplies. And it smells really good. And you would probably think, hey, Soap Lady. Hey, Virginia. How are you? Very good to see you. Thank you for joining live. I'm also going to tell you guys, if you have not had a chance to share it out on your favorite platform, please make sure that you do. Um, what we're doing is blending our a portion of our dry ingredients with the wet ingredients 
before we add in the remainder of the dry ingredients. Another new toy, wide angle, TV takeover, yes. And I have my mask on, which is um, kind of like clickbait, but I actually need my mask on, guys. I wish I could bring your comments up, but if you stick around, I promise I will bring those comments up so people aren't like, who is she talking to? I'm talking to the beautiful dryer buzz right now. Avocado mint sounds amazing. And if you could smell it, I'm telling you guys, the last piece of this puzzle is me getting smell-o-vision. If I get smell-o-vision, you all know the story already. My daughters and I will be making your bath products off an island because you'll smell them and you'll order them immediately. So we have that here. And now we're going to go ahead and add in the remainder, which is primarily our citric acid. Do you guys know why I'm doing the citric acid last? you have any idea? I kind of told you already at the beginning of the video, but, you know. Nobody knows? That's the ingredient that will actually activate. So when you're dropping your bath bombs in the tub, when they hit that water combined with the baking soda, that is what activates it and creates that almost kind of to keep it from bubbling. Hello! I love cannabis 2018. How are you? Thank you for joining the video. And so we added that so as not to have it activate before it's actually made into a bath bomb. We still have not added our fragrance. I add that last as I'm adding the color. SLA. Um, SLA. Are you talking about SLSA? I actually use a product called True Foam for my bath bombs. Um, True Foam doesn't cause that coughing experience that most people have from the SLSA because that's a really fine particle. I went to a soap makers meetup in Pittsburgh and I met up with um, another innovative soap maker and she created this product that makes it very, very convenient for us soap makers. Let me grab a popsicle stick. I dropped one. And so, we're going to go ahead and get our color added in here. Now, before, you guys have seen that I have made some really light bath bombs in the past. And the reason behind that is I did not have the polysorbate 80. And polysorbate 80 is what allows the color to disperse in the tub so that you don't have the porcelain in your tub turning the color of the bath bomb. Um, and I didn't have that. So I would do a really, really light bath bomb. I don't have to do that anymore because I now have the polysorbate 80. And that was our avocado mint that we just put in there. Now, this is where I wish I would have my um, my stand mixer, but that one is occupied with our body butter. <laughs> my body butter is in that one, so can't use that. So this is where my arms are getting a workout. And this is kind of like knee and dough almost. And you kind of just get a feel for the mixture as you're doing it. And you know if you need to add more dry ingredients because it's not going to stick, or if you need to add more wet ingredients because it possibly will stick. Um, but that just kind of comes with experience. And once you get like a recipe that works really, really well, that's what you would do. Now, I can't tell if my comments are broken because I can kind of see one over here out the corner of my eye. As long as we're still going. I've tried. Much love, much respect. Life call, I definitely understand. I have, a, yeah, a lot of your comments are not coming up. So I have to keep on working with that. 
Peace and beauty. Hello there. Okay, so you guys got it. Let's see what's happening here. I love making fresh bread. It's a workout. And if you're not talking about it while you're doing it, I mean, it can be a really mindful experience for you to kind of like zone out for a little bit. For sure. So I'm just going to keep on keeping on here. And these are just all yellow. I didn't want to do any like combos. I'm going to switch my gloves because I didn't punch it through. The one thing, guys, the one thing about having longer nails is they do pierce through these very oh, cheapo gloves that I have. I do have a stronger pair that I could put on, but then I can't maneuver it as well. I got you in two places at the same time. You for sight, you are like the MVP of these broadcasts sometimes. I swear. You're like, all good over here, all good over there. Thank you for doing that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. Okay, so we're up to quite a few folks. If you have not told me who you are so that I can say hi, take the time now so that I know who you are. And I'm looking over here at the comments. So that I can see you and I can actually say hello and welcome you to the broadcast. If this is your very first time seeing me live, definitely, definitely, definitely tell me by putting in a number one. And if you have been here before, put in an emoji and or a number two. And we'll get that part started. Oh, or not. <laughs> or not. Okay. So look, I just went under here and there's a place that has absolutely no color. Lawrence from Western Kentucky. Well, hello, Lawrence. Have you been with me live before? Do you have a, put in a one for first time, two for, nah, I'm a regular. I've seen you before, girl. Thank you for keeping me up late night. And thank you all for actually keeping me company on this very, very late broadcast. Okay. I probably need a bigger bowl. Virginia, number two. Welcome anyone who is new tonight. Share and follow Lawrence. Okay, I answered. I asked you a couple. Oh, two. Okay, you've been here before. Got it. Thanks, Virginia. I see those sunglasses. I see those sunglasses. That's one of my favorite emojis. Next to the chemist looking um, emoji that I normally put up. All right. We're almost there. And now we'll get to use our machine, which is a lot of fun. That's over here. Drea's here. I know you've been here before, Drea. Drea, your Easter bath bag will be coming out tomorrow. I hope you're excited. You see how every time I dig a little bit deeper, I find a little bit more of that white that has not been blended with the color. All right. I'm going to say that's good enough. It's good enough, darn it. Let it go. All right. I don't need my mask anymore. But hey guys, so if you were wondering what I look like, that's what I look like under the mask. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to take some of these out as to not, because when I first take my bath bombs out, I have a ring on this finger and I try, yippee, can't wait, can't wait. I'm wearing a mask because the powders are so, so fine as I am mixing them up and I need to be able to breathe for the rest of my life. So until they are completely combined, all of those very small powders are airborne and I don't want them necessarily going into my lungs. But at this point, I don't need it because they are 100% mixed together. But that's a very good question. It gives you a very scratchy feel as you are mixing them. And that's just because the powders are so, 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 so fine. Some people, it doesn't bother them. Me, it does. So 
I also try and talk during the broadcast. And if I'm doing that, there is a chance, there is a possibility that I'm going to have a coughing fit and this show would be over in T minus 20 seconds. So, good question though. And if you are somebody who makes bath bombs and you find that you're having coughing fits and whatnot, um, try using a painter's mask. Try using a painter's mask to avoid that. Just until it's completely mixed up together. So we have our mixture inside of the container here. I'm going to pull our bath bomb machine. Oh, I don't have to. Wide angle. Look at that. Um, but what I was saying about the ring, that will actually give an imprint on the bath bomb. And to avoid having the imprint on the bath bomb and to avoid the bath bomb from going flat, I got this tip off of a Facebook group to actually put them directly into here. On another broadcast, I showed you guys how you could, if you don't have a machine, a lot of people when they're just starting out, they don't want to use a machine for making their bath bombs. You can use these spheres that you can get off of Amazon. You can probably go, um, especially right now because of the Easter holiday, you can use the Easter egg, um, the Easter eggs, and make your bath bombs with that. But I don't do that because I have a machine that helps me to do them. I'm going to use our little doohickey tool here, which helps us to... This does feel a little wet, though. I will say that. It could be a little drier. Hey, Dooney! And then tapping this helps it to not stick. Uh, I should probably have a metal spoon. It worked! It worked! Are you excited? You guys want to see? You want to see? You want to see? Even if you don't, stick around. You're going to see. I want to... Trying to figure out the best place to put all this so you don't miss, like, the important stuff. Then I just brush off, like, the excess from the bath bomb. And I put it right in here, like so. And then I tap again to get it out the bottom. Sometimes it want to stick. And you can kind of hear it release when it does. And then that's the bath bomb that we get right there. And I'm just going to put these right here. And they'll kind of roll a little bit. Not too much, but enough. And then I just take my finger and wipe out any excess that's in there. Sometimes that wants to come off. But we do want this little piece on as to not ruin the bottom of the bath bomb. So then I just do the same thing over and over again until I have all of my bath bombs made. And typically we can do this in about a half hour if I'm not paying too much attention to what's going on. Hello! Looks like a snowball ice, but it's a bath ball ice. Um, Lorraine said she waited for you at 6 p.m. California time. But I was on page time, Laura. So please tell her my truest, truest apologies. But Paige was so indecisive in the store. Then we had to eat dinner. Mommy duty was on full effect. Then we had to get her washed up in the tub. So life happened. I'm so sorry. I need to stop saying, guys, I'm going to be live at this specific time. The problem is I have all intentions on that being the case. However, <laughs> life. I wonder. <laughs> and I just kind of get this excess off. Put it inside. I do need a metal spoon. I'm going to give you guys just a quick break so I can grab um, a metal spoon.
welcome back guys if you stuck around for that cool i did go couldn't find a metal spoon but there's always a butter knife in the house always um i don't know if you have kids that throw away the utensils as they're throwing away the garbage but i do um so it's very difficult to actually keep and hold on to metal spoons in the house so what we're doing is if you are just now coming on I'm Zakia. I make up. Oh, we almost we almost bomb almost down. Um, we are making our bath bombs as well as bath bomb in beds. We're using a scent called avocado mint. It smells amazing. Um, and what you are seeing me do is do the bath bombs first, and then we're going to do our in beds because we are attempting to make a rainbow bath bomb where it'll be white on the inside but then once it hits the water all of those colors from the bath bomb shoot out and the way we're able to get that is with bath bomb embeds so i'm starting with the bath bombs first we'll hopefully get a little over a dozen maybe a baker's dozen i should probably pay attention i should probably pay attention but I think I'll get a little over a dozen. 13. And I just try and smooth her out. Pull her out. Guys, that's the amazing part right there. That's the incredible part. This is where I wish I had the tool that Yolanda shared today. Um, where I can actually zoom in and have it show up next broadcast i need another piece i need another piece of software and then we'll pull it up so we do the same thing over and over and over again and then we pop her out she is locked up Lorraine says she waited for you. Is she asleep now? Tell her I'm on now, Laura. <laughs> says the key is on. Not now. I'm going to bed. All right. And there's that one there. So we should hopefully, I'm going to, well, not going to time it because we've already, we've already been on here for quite some time. But I'll look back on the replay and see from start to finish how long did that take you? And you do want to kind of move fast because as the bath bomb mixture starts to um, dry out, it gets harder and harder to mold. So that's why I don't typically do more than a dozen in, at one time because I know that I'm slow. And I start looking at comments while we're on the live stream. And I'll have a dried up mix by the time I get to like the 18th bath bomb. So I typically will do a dozen at a time. And it does get messy, guys. I mean, I'll have bath bomb mixture everywhere. And then JP, hey there, how are you? Thank you for joining live and all of you that have shared all of you that are commenting i greatly appreciate it i'm doing very well hey kia how are you thanks for joining on the periscope side it looks like so there's a race to get the mold before the mix yeah absolutely once this mixture dries out it will not mold it'll kind of crumble and so we need it to say um a nice consistency, not super wet. A lot of, when I was first making bath bombs, my problem was I heard the wet sand. You want it to feel like wet sand. Well, there's different levels of wet sand, guys. Um, if you're trying to get your sand castle to stay together, that sand is soaking wet. You PM'd me where? Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Where did you send me a PM? A private message. Um, so that, that's not the level of wet that you want when you're doing your bath bombs. That's not it at all. That's actually way too wet. And, um, you'll be very dissatisfied because it will just fall apart. Or 
um, you'll have one part of your bath bomb in the bottom of the mold and the other half will be stuck in the top. So you, you, you really got to work fast and you got to know um, the humidity level in your house. When I tried to make bath bombs last summer, I'm telling you, I am using the exact same recipe that I was using then. I was, I'm using the exact, there is nothing that I have changed about the recipe. I was ready to throw this out the window. My bath bombs would not stick or anything. The humidity in my house in the summertime is unbearable. And for that reason, all of the, so what I would have needed to do with a little bit of experience, I learned, I needed to cut down on the water content. Because the bath bombs were actually pulling all of the moisture from the air and the humidity in my house. But luckily I persisted. November rolled around. It was freezing. We have absolutely no messenger and Instagram. I will take a look before we get off of this broadcast. I would have, um, if I would have given up, I wouldn't have figured out that, hey, you just had the wrong temperature. Because I'm using the exact same recipe, and as you can see, every one of these are coming out absolutely perfect. And perfect is a thing. Hey there, Marlene. We're using avocado mint. Smells incredible. Incredible. Probably could have made them green, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All right, so let's go ahead and get this off here. Get our little bit of excess. And then again, I'm putting it directly in here to prevent it from having a flat bottom or the imprint from my ring because this has, oh my God. Um, this is actually still a little soft. It has not hardened yet. It will harden in about two hours. I mean, rock hard where I can drop them on the floor and they will not crack. Well, more about four hours. I'm exactly talking about two. Um... And then by tap, tap, tapping it, there you go. We've got these beautiful, no, I like that color. I like it a lot. Uh, oh, is Cardi B canceled right now? I forgot. Can't really change Cardi B, Cardi B right now. But, you know, but I do like the color too. But it's avocado. Well, on the inside of the avocado. But it does not, what does avocado smell like? It has a minty smell. But a fruity, almost, I want to say powder, but it's not powder. Now, you see how I don't even have to bend down? I put just enough in here um, where it's intoxicating to my house. Josh is going to come in like, what were you making? You were making more bad stuff, weren't you? Yes, I was. Mind your business, bruh. <laughs> Mind your business, bruh. All right. Paige wants to say, what you make, ma? All right, so this is starting to stick. So I'm grabbing the spatula, which means the Kia. You got to move and stop talking because your mixture is starting to dry out. Again, there is no humidity right now. Look, that one wasn't even mixed at the bottom. We got some white down there. Break it up. You know, I hope I answered your question, Jay. I am horrible. I am terrible at actually describing the smells, guys. Okay. So we got that. Kind of, sort of. And then I'll use my hands to break up any clumps as I'm putting it inside. The one thing about having your comments over there is I am often looking over there instead of being like, hey, guys, um, which is fine. Okay, we got... Of it's, it's saying 26. We have 26 folks on the broadcast right now. 
if you have not commented, or you know what, I do know that some of you are watching on Apple TV or on your Fire Stick, so you are not able to comment, which is absolutely fine. But if you are able to type in and let me know that you're here, do so. Because I think I've talked to about four of you, but that's a whole lot more than 26. Or a whole lot less than 26. Say hey. How you doing? What's up? How you doing? What's up? How you doing? All that stuff. All right. So let's get this one out. Uh-oh. -uh. That one may be stuck. Yup. What were we just talking about? Hello, daughter. <sighs> what were we just talking about? I'm not just telling you about that mixture. That's what you asked for. <laughs> you were gone for like. Hours. Because Paige couldn't figure out what toy she wanted. A toy? Still here. I'm tapping hearts for Heart Mile. Oh my God. What is the significance of the lost books behind you? Uh, what kind of machine is that? It's a bath bomb machine. Hey, Juan, how are you? Thank you for tuning in. So the significance behind those are they are my self-published books. It's the new Soapmakers Cookbook series. Um, I published all three of those books. Um, oh my God, and Paige is up to. What What happened to bed? She heard you get up, so she got up. Still here. Thanks, Drea. This is a bath bomb machine. It allows me to press them out and they get the same, I get the same result every single time. So I need to kind of work with this for a second. And what is that? We got five. So imagine if I had tried to do a mixture with two dozen bath bombs at one time. Hey, Candy, how are you? All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that feels better. And you kind of just get a feel for it after a while. And you see how when I was talking about it a minute ago, I was like, oh, this don't feel right. This feels right. We I mean, hope it feels right. Give it a second to get its mold. Don't be all quick, willy-nilly with it. All right, let me pull some of your comments up there so all the other folks, if you're not on the same platform, you can say, hey, I saw you. There's one right there. Let me see if I am able to make your comment bigger. Does it remain that when I pull someone else up? No. There's Drea, still here, was here. Started from beginning, now she's here. She was here at the beginning, guys. There's Jolo saying, wowzer, how are you? And then there's Candy who said, hey, 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 how you doing? Um, that was just me trying to give the mold a chance to behave. And this is me tapping it, encouraging it not to stick. Don't stick. Good evening. Hello, Gabrielle. There we go. Let her behave. Oh. And then we just tap, tap, or just drag all around the sides there. And then we grab this little cup. That's the bath bomb mold. Good evening, Gabrielle. How are you? Are you on East Coast time or West Coast time? And now we have a bomb that sticks together. So that's the whole thing with your mixture kind of just being the right consistency. Um, the worst advice I got is you want it to feel like wet sand. Anytime my mixture feels like wet sand, it absolutely positively does not work. It will not stick. That's body scrub. No, this is a bath bomb. These are bath bombs that we're making right now. And then we're going to do our embeds. Um, so we have the spring is coming up. So a lot of people are going to be doing gender reveal parties. Um, I don't have a pink though. Definitely got to do blue for It's a Boy. I'm good just working in studio about to get ready for a radio show. Would count more than 10,000 hearts. 
It's okay, Miss Francis. Thank you for tapping. I appreciate it. You're probably the only one over there tapping. I can't see it, unfortunately. I don't know why the hearts... Oh, because we're multi-streaming. So the hearts don't show up, so I can't... Yes, I can. Look at me lying. Let me come and say thanks to the tappers. What'd I say? Miss Francis. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Francis, for being over there on Periscope encouraging the heart mob. All right, so... I'm going to do the same thing. Tapping, tapping. I actually need to get a pink for the girl um, gender reveal bath bomb. You can kind of hear it release. Kind of. So you kind of get a feel for your entire process as you are making the bath bombs. You know the right consistency that you want the bath bombs to be so that they will mold. You can kind of feel when they release out of the bath bomb press. We love tap. My hometown that you are were. I'm in Philly. Did I read that right? Are you originally from Philly, Laura? All right. So what are we at? Two, four, six, seven. We better get a dozen. Okay, who's who's a betting person? Do you guys think we're going to get a dozen? That's how much mixture we got left. And it's hardening up too. All I need a slower moving bath bomb thing here. Mine kind of just wants to harden up really, really quickly. I don't use a lot of liquid in here, um, but it's enough. Because I want the bath bombs to dry and be rock solid. Because especially if you have a shell, tell her we we love tapping. Oh, I finished, I forgot to tell you about the books that you for sight asked about. So all of my books are for brand new soap makers, experienced soap makers. On the other hand, you may like my ingredients for success. Um, it talks about how the mindset that I had to get in order to be successful and success is defined very differently for different people kind of your own way of taking a pinch of this and a pinch of that yes um ten and a half sundays do you really think so do you know kenny gamble from soul train lives in philly he's on facebook right now i do know kenny gamble the soul of the sound of philly that's going to be stuck. Let's keep tapping. Yeah, and it's going to be different, you for sight, for every soap maker or body products maker. Yeah, that's stuck. I knew it. Um, it's going to be different. No, your top that you are wearing. Oh, Los Angeles. This isn't mine. I borrowed it. Borrowed it from my kid. Okay. Because you guys know Nyla's name is New York Los Angeles. Well, that's not her name. But it's a combination of NY, which is New York, and LA, which is Los Angeles. So whenever we see shirts that have New York or Los Angeles on them, we buy them. So this is really her shirt. All right, let's go again. You know a soul train dancer? I'm a soul train dancer. I'm a soul train dancer. Not really. That was a little bit before my time. Not very far, but a little. Ten and a half, two, four, six, seven. I think you might be right. <sighs> Okay, let's play a game. Oh boy. I'm always ner I'm always nervous. Oh, we're at forty five minutes. So it takes me about an hour. 
Takes me about an hour. Guess my zodiac sign. I'll send you $20 cash app right now. You get one try. Zakia, you're a dancing on air dancer. Huh? What'd I do? Okay, I'll be done soon. She's like, no, you won't. Huh? You want to guess the zodiac? Not mine. I still love old songs anyway. Come on. I'm going to say cancer. Because that's the first thing that came to mind just now. Aquarius. Because nobody's an Aquarius. This is the age of Aquarius. Wait, I don't want that excess on there. Yeah. Yeah, even though it wasn't before my time, I do love some old school songs. If there weren't all these rules on copyright and whatnot, we would be listening to. I'm serious. Sagittarius. Oh, so close. Ah, almost had it. Thanks for giving us a game on the broadcast. What are your zodiac signs? Nope, I'm an Aries. Oh, I would have never guessed that. Sorry, love. God bless. Thank you for some entertainment. Uh -huh. It don't want to work. Here we go. Two, four, six, seven. That's no good. Oh man, this smells so good. I'm going to definitely use one of these. <laughs> Don't get high on your own supply of bath bomb, guy. Can you still have music? Nope. Not according to their new terms of service. Leo. I'm a Leo. Not according to their new terms of service and the fact that we are multi-streaming. You definitely can't have music on YouTube nor Facebook, although that seems to be dependent on who you are. I am a Leo, but I don't need any... You don't lend any credence to it. I'm I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty Leo-esque, I would say. All the good parts of it. The bad parts, I have no part to that. Whatever that may be. I don't even think we're going to get 10. Who gets 10? I definitely undermeasured this bad. I'm glad I did, because it's misbehaving at this point. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, no music. No music. Um, I have some AirPods coming, so you guys won't be able to hear the music, but I will still be listening to music. I'm Virgo, and it's definitely me. Yeah, I didn't learn all about the Zodiac signs until uh, much, much later, and um, very self-centered of me. I only know about the characteristics of a Leo. I have no idea what any of the other signs mean. I know there's water signs, fire signs, all that other stuff. Um, hey there. Did you leave? Can't pronounce that. All right, let's pull some of you up. War is the kid. Um, wow, that does suck, Miss Francis. Euphrosite is telling us that he doesn't lend any credence to being a Leo. But that's probably why you and I see eye to eye on so many things. See eye to eye. I'm tapping the heck out of this thing. I want to say this all. Nope, this is stuck. No, it's not. Okay. Look at me lying. Come on. Out. That was stuff. All right. We're going to get us some fairy dust over there. All right. So what we're going to do now is I don't need this anymore. So what I'm going to do is clear that out. And we're going to work on our embeds. Because I'm not about to fight with it at 11. At this ungodly hour. No, ma'am. All right.
I'll play with it some other time. I want to try to make some of this. Hey, DJ! Good to see you! I'm so happy to have you on the Periscope side. Um, let me, you can't really, I don't know why it's so small. We still got 20 some odd folks in here. You guys are very, very cool. No matter what platform you're on, we appreciate having you here, especially live. So we started out with our bath bomb mixture. If you guys don't know what a bath bomb does, because, you know, you're just not into that kind of stuff, I'm going to take a little bit and sprinkle it. You like bath bombs? I have them. DJ's question. Is it good to use unrefined cold-pressed olive oil in soap making? I don't see why not. There are different kinds of olive oil. The only thing, um, I would look at the sap value. Hold on, guys. I'm going to go grab some water. I would look at the sap value if that's any different. Yeah. Almost, I got to just make the embed, which will be very quick, because I don't have to press those. Um, so, we're going to pretend this is our bathtub. Um, so, uh, about the cold process soap. Um, just take a look and see if the set value is any different. I don't think that it is, and the set value is the saponification value, because that is what you're going to need to determine how much lye solution you need to convert that over. But otherwise, you should be fine. All right, so we've got seven bath bombs, and we got some of this, um, what's going to turn into fairy dust. If you have a bath bomb, what you would do is you would take it, you have run your bath water, and then you just drop it into the water, and what it'll do is it will fizz, and it will actually create bubbles on the top of the water. Let me bring it up. And I can tell you that I have packed these very well. And it also turns, there you go. Can't see what you can see, but you can see. Um, it turns the color of your water that yellow. And then you also end up with bubbles that are that yellow and white as well. So it's a very, very cool um, thing. It's, kids love it. It's also very relaxing if you need a little bit of me time. Looks like my counter when I make biscuits. Time to make the biscuits. I can make donuts. I can make donuts with the rest of this yellow. Good reminder, Miss Francis. We're going to make bath bomb donuts. That page doesn't sneeze on. Only because you guys are watching. I'm not going to put that on the floor. I'm going to put that right inside. And that's going to fizz up some more. If you guys were were not live, I promise you I probably would have scraped that onto the floor. How fast does it dissolve? So it's completely dissolved now. But you actually have bubbles that are going to last probably about 10-15 minutes in the tub. Or just like a regular bubble bath as soon as you start putting... Um, me and my mom put bath bombs in our tub. It is the most relaxing and luxuriating experience for sure. Oh, you guys can't even see them. You ain't tell me. I'm steady setting them out there. And you guys are like, well, she said she made some. So these are the ones that we made. Right here in front of me. And now they're on their little flying saucers waiting to get harder. So those are the ones that we made. I now need to kind of wipe this side off. And we'll go ahead and get started on our blue embeds for the boys. So these are going to be used for um, gender reveal birthday parties or birthday party, baby showers. Um, a lot of people are doing various kinds of gender reveals. Would be nice if you had that overhead camera. I do. However, you guys are not overhead right there. You guys are not overhead right there, unfortunately. I can bring you over, though. Let's see. Let's bring you to the mat cam. Let's get a little more intimate. Hey, guys. So, 
Um, if you are just now coming on, um, this is a, we're at 50 some odd minutes, which means we probably ain't got nobody watching on the Facebook side. Facebook comments are not coming over, but I can kind of peek and see that Karen said, Hey, how you doing, Karen? Um, so I can't bring you up, but hey, 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 hey. Um, and so... I'm Zakia of naturalsoapbyzakia.com, and we are working on our bath bombs as well as our embeds. So um, I have two things that I'm going to be using for the embeds. This one here, um, an embed allows you, so these same bath bombs that we just made right here, I'm able to put embeds inside of them so that it's one color on the outside but the idea is if you are doing a gender reveal party, you could actually have the color inside the bath bomb. So when the people leave your event, they can go home. They just had a fantastic time and they drop their bath bombs in the tub. There's 247 viewers. Wow. Um, that's very cool. So they drop them into, let me pull you guys back up because I can't see how you see it. Um, they drop them into the tub and they continue the gender reveal after the actual baby shower. So they already know because you've probably revealed it already. Um, but they, it's kind of extending the experience. It's a different kind of um, favor that you can give for the baby shower. I feel like it's like the camera's not able to keep up. Am I moving too fast, camera? Um, so we're going to go ahead and make some of those. Now, we have our mixtures right here already pre-mixed. And then we also have our liquid ingredients. I don't add any fragrance to my embeds because I don't know the fragrance that I'm going to put them in. That's fun to see the reveal in the tub. Yeah. In the spring, there is a ton of baby shower reveals that happen. There is a ton of them. And so um, I'm kind of getting ready for the rush that is bound to happen. And by me having the embeds already created, they can just let me know what the outside color they need, if they're having a boy or a girl, and we'll already be ahead of the eight ball. So we're going to use this, like I said, now you can kind of see it closer. This gives you very pointy edges on here. This is going to give me a ton of embed guys. A ton. Um, and these will all be blue. I think I'm only going to do blue in these. And then let me grab some pink. Yeah. We're going to do some neon pink pigment right here. All right. So we've got our, um, this is a bath bomb colorant that we're going to be using. It's a really pigmented out of this world blue and then we're also going to do the neon pink in the round ones here oh no i'm gonna put you guys back on the table i just felt like because i have two cameras i should probably use them both let's see side by side how does that work side by side how does that work well you got two of me doesn't really help so I'm going to put you back on just looking at the table because that's what you asked for. Give the people what they want, anime. Give the people what they want. Um, tiny bath bombs. Well, they're made the same, but they're smaller. And that smaller size is what you put inside the bath bomb when you're making it. And so I'm going to need another face mask, guys, because we have those very same small particles all over again. Um, so the point in the embeds is you have something that you can put inside of the bath bomb. But it's made of probably a, maybe about three fewer ingredients. But it will still foam and bubble and fizz and all of that um, like the regular bath bomb. But it's going to shoot colors out in the tub which is what we're going after. Started on the wrong side. Started on the wrong side. That's a lot of tiny embeds. Cause people will, I only sell my bath bombs by the dozen. So I'm gonna need maybe about two or three embeds in each one.
And hopefully I keep most of my ingredients on the inside of the bowl. That's kind of important. Waste not, want not, all that good stuff. And this is just me blending to make sure all of these are very well combined. And I'm sorry, guys, if you are talking to me on the Facebook side, that is the one part that is not showing up. I got to do a check on YouTube, see what's happening. Yeah, YouTube is messing around, too. I'll have to go back and check this. For some reason, this is very different from our other stream. Maybe it's the hour. Are there a lot of people broadcasting right now? I love Harpo. God knows I do. I love Harpo. God knows I do. But I come there. Did I just make a um, color purple reference before that? Bigger bowls are called for Irish guys. You ain't never lied. I be pushing it. Pushing it. Push it to the limit. Did I say something about Harpo? What made you put that reference up there? Sometimes I just be talking. I don't even remember. What, in the world? what you just say, girl? I don't know. Yes, they are tonight. Oh, there's a lot of people broadcasting. Okay. Well, it's Friday. And you ain't got nothing to do. That's a Friday. That's a Friday reference. Why not live stream? Oh, shoot. Forgot my color. I did need the color in that part. Oh, goodness. Yes, you did. What did I say? What did I say that was a color purple reference? I don't know. I don't know what it was. Aside from the I love Harpo, God knows I do. Did I say that? Oh, man, it must be late because I really don't remember saying that. I said it as a result of, yeah, I get to sleep in. I said it as a result of somebody typing it. So before that, did I say, look at this blue. Did I say, I don't think I did it. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to have to watch the replay. What moment is this? What moment in time is am I acting cray cray on the broadcast? What's our time? At one hour and one minute. I didn't hear me either, Miss Francis. But there has to be a reason why they would type it in there. I'm going to listen. I'm going to say. Now there comes a time where your spatula just won't cut it. And that's when you go in with your hands. But I'm going to use my hands. How's it going, ladies? It's pretty good. We're almost done. We're getting these embeds done. And then we're going to start working out our fairy dust situation over there. Say, wait a minute, what do I got in here that I forgot to mix up? Nothing. Hey, Natalie, true. I must have missed it. I'm probably so funny. Yeah, I definitely need bigger bowls, guys. So, aside from the spatulas that you can get your favorite soap makers in your life, get them bowls. And see, I said I need this bowl so you guys would be able to see inside. I think she was on the broadcast where I was talking about the super heart debacle.
At least that's where I remember seeing it. Can you guys see that blue? So imagine that blue shooting out of a bath bomb that's white on the outside. You get a blue and white bath and you know that it's a boy. Oh yeah. Now this I do need it completely blended because I don't need any white. You guys be wondering like how you got them biceps and triceps making bad stuff. Because I sure ain't talking to nobody's gym. Oh, I went to the gym January and February. March, I completely fell off that train. I thought that was going to be a whole thing for a while. But nope. Not on duty. Yeah, I love this blue. And these, again, are unscented because when I make the actual bath bombs that they're going into, that's what I'll scent. And I don't know what scent I'll use or what they'll request. So, Then, the easy part. We take our mixture and we just spread it out until these are full. So you can tell Paige that I was not telling her a story. In beds take no time. You never got on the gym train? I know. Keep on moving. Not over here. Hey there, Mish. How are you? So we got these guys. And the thing is, we just got to make sure that we completely fill these. Because when they go to pop out, we need them to be the full size. Oh, I'm glad to... Is your kitchen done? Hope nobody in the street overhears you say, got these biceps. <laughs> I don't need my mask anymore. That is very true. I need to be very careful. I need to be extremely careful because that is very true. There was a time, even on Periscope, they had featured the broadcast in the title, I said, making bath bombs live. And the Periscope bot would actually block people when they asked, how do you make a bath, or they typed in a bath bomb. Zakia, are you going to up late to stop by the show in the lab later? Are you going to be up later to stop by the show? Yes, as soon as I'm off of here. Tuesday the plumber comes. Guys. If you are not following I'm a Cook, Not a Chef on Facebook, you really want to get over there and follow I'm a Cook, Not a Chef, which is Mish. Who I said, hey, Mish. Um, you really want to follow her. She just got her whole kitchen redone. It is a work of art. Beautiful. And it's, I, I think plumbing is like the very last thing. Turn the water on. Um before she is able to really, really, but if you look on the page, you'll be able to see some of the food that she has made in the past. Um, that's the lady that I traveled to China with. And when I tell you her culinary skills are absolutely out of this world. Some of the things that she puts together, she took me to two Asian grocery stores and named every fruit and every vegetable that was there. Um, Tuesday the plumber comes. Okay, call me so we can get you routed in. Okay, are you, can you put your number in Facebook Messenger to make sure I have it? Or can I call you via Facebook Messenger?
Let me know where I'm going to call that. I want to talk to Samson. I got way too much. I got way too much. So we're going to do some additional bath bombs. Or bath bomb embeds at least. I wonder if the yellow, and because the blue is the right texture, if I can get some yellow and blue bath bombs. You made the reference, give the people what they want, anime. Oh, bought it. Thank you for catching me up. Cause I was like, what did I say? What did I do? And that was it. And that translated into the Harpo reference. But how? Was that from Color Purple? I'm, I'm bamboozled. I didn't know. Yes. Get the people what they want, anime. I thought that was from Tina Turner. Who was anime in color purple? Now I'm confused. I thought that was from What's Love Got to Do With It when he was like, eat that cake, anime. Okay, so these are going to set up in about an hour, and I'll be able to pop these out. What's love got to do, got to do with it? Like the blue and the yellow together, we're going to try it and see if that'll get it to cooperate. Because this texture is right. I'm confused. I am too. I'm like, wait, I don't know how that goes. We'll see how it goes. That's, for, that's an Alexander Hamilton reference, in case you were wondering. I am an avid avid Alexander Hamilton fan. When I first got started live streaming before everybody was stickless for copyright and all that other stuff, um, we used to constantly listen to the Alexander Hamilton soundtrack on these broadcasts. Um, Tina Turner. Yes, it came from Tina Turner, but was there a... Never mind. We'll be all night with me trying to figure that out. So let's do a little bit of the blue, because we know that will mold. Let's do a little bit of the yellow, because we know that's acting cray cray. We're going to do a little bit more of the blue. This is how you, more than one way to skin a cat. How many people know that reference? I don't say that. Why would you skin a cat? And kill two birds with one stone. Why are you killing cats? Or why are you killing birds? It's just a saying. Um, Campbell's wife's name was Anime. What's love got to do with it? Uh-oh, we're about to have that. What, which one was it? Was it from color purple? Ooh, that is very pretty together. If it molds, we've got action. If it molds, we've got action, guys. It's a beautiful surprise if it works out. No, anime is color purple. <laughs> We've got a debate going. What do you say? Who was anime? Harpo's wife? After Miss Sophia. Where's our knife? Mm, 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 mm. Nobody knows. Where is that knife? I went back in time on YouTube and that's what I heard. Like, I, okay, but I, that was not the reference that I was making, but I'm glad that we all are having a debate. No! 
Guys, I'm just hoping this thing cops out. Send some good vibes. If you can tap the screen, do that. If you can say, please, God, let that bath bomb come out. Do that. Let's see. Oh, darn it. Almost. Almost had it. It's a broken one. Let's, let's show the people what we got. No. What I missed. I do like these colors together. Let me show you. I'll bring it up closer. Oh, dear. Look at those colors together. It's broken. Got to try it again. I think we got to have more of the blue, which is the right consistency. But that looks very pretty together. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right, let's bring it back. Because y'all want to see all the table. All right, how are we going to do this? Uh, you know what? Let's just see if the blue by itself will actually move. No. Looks nice if it sticks. If it sticks, you must have put. Very pretty. Tina Turner's real name is Anna Mae Bullock. Anna Mae Bullock. What are you doing, girl? Everybody loves Tina Turner. Everybody loves her. Big wheels keep on turning. Not Zakia's version of her. Um, these are unscented blue. So they were supposed to be in bags. This feels very wet though. This does not feel like the right consistency to mold. Nice. Thanks, Virginia. But it, it, it would be nice if it behaved. Dang it. Yeah, I don't think this is going to mold either, guys. It's too wet. It's too wet. Can you recapture a batch if the moisture is not sufficient? You can. What you do is add more moisture and whatnot. Or add more dry. If it's too wet, you add more dry ingredients. If it's too dry, you add more wet ingredients. But it's just too late for me to try and figure it out. I love Mary J. Blige, too, and Tina. Get out. I want you to pop out. Somehow you gotta talk to it. Nope, it's one stick. Ugh. Ugh. Uh-huh. That one worked. There you go. All right. So, I'm going to let you all go because Paige has called me again, which means she is really not going to sleep at 1243 in the morning until I come upstairs. I'm going to get her to sleep. Hopefully, you all have enjoyed the broadcast. This was a long one, um, but they all have been pretty long. Um, so I will get the rest of these done. Hopefully you have enjoyed our time together for our bath bombs. Let me get you on here. Oh, no. Yeah, she's she's not having it. Um, our bath bombs, our mess of a table, as well as our embeds. If I pull you back, you can see a little more. See a little more. I can actually put some embeds in here, too. So I'll do that. Call you tomorrow. I can't wait. It looks nice. Thanks so much. All of you have a fantastic, fantastic night. And we're going to go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for joining today's live broadcast. And we're going to go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage, also known as the credits. Do you absolutely positively love products by Soap Lady Z? That could be our soap. Wait a minute. I'm sorry, guys. Nola Girl just came in. We were asking about how do people like the facial serum. And there was a sign that said, I absolutely love the facial gel. I'm glad to hear that. I was getting nervous. 
All right, now I'm going to say bye for real. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for joining today's live broadcast. And we're going to go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage, also known as the credits. Do you absolutely positively love products by Soap Lady Z? That could be our soap. That could be our books. That could be our classes. That could just be our gratitude and our show. Make sure you sign up for our ambassador program today and you earn money for your referrals to Soap Nation. How cool is that? Now, you may also be wondering, how can you easily support Soap Lady Z? Like the videos. Were you watching? Did you tap the screen? Did you send an emoji? Did you put a thumbs up? That is supporting the broadcast. You can share it with your friends on social media. Make sure you're following my channel on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, anywhere in the social media land that you are actually hearing the sound of my voice. Make sure you have clicked that follow button and make sure you also subscribe to my email list so that you can stay connected. And most importantly, thumbs do matter. Rate and review wherever you are. If there's an option to put a comment, put a comment in there. Now, did you see something that you've just got to have it? Did I make something live that you're like, oh, yes, I'm getting it. I need it for my skin. I need to learn. Any of those things. Naturalsoapbyzakia.com is where you can go to get all of my handmade products. These make excellent gifts for friends, family, and co-workers. Some of my absolute best-selling products are the Triple Butter Blend, the Activated Charcoal and Kale and Clay, as well as the Peppermint Soap. If you are looking for a gift that actually keeps on giving, subscribe to my Soap of the Month Club and you actually get bath treats delivered to your door each and every month. Head over to naturalsoapbyzakia.com to place your order today. Not tomorrow, not a little bit later. Do it now. It's handmade, guys. Doesn't last forever. When it's gone, it's gone until I make it again. Get your order in today. Now, do you actually want to make your own handmade soap from scratch? Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? It's so calming. It's so soothing and you actually control all of the ingredients. Check out the new Soap Makers Cookbook series available both in paperback and ebook format exclusively on Amazon.com. Oh yeah. Head to bit.ly forward slash soap books and you can see my author page as well as all of the books and the reviews and order your copy today but if you're like a lot of people you actually want to sit and take a class because you want to learn and know that you know that you know that you know you can actually take a soap making class with soap lady z live or online visit livesoapschool.com forward slash classes for more information what's available as well as the schedule Head over there today if you would like to learn how to make your own soap from scratch. Thanks again for tuning in live or even on the replay. You guys are awesome too. Bubbles and hugs. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share.